What is going on, beautiful people? Hi. Beautiful person right here. You look so good. Oh, thanks. We are uh, currently sitting in the parking lot of... McDonald's. Our... No, it's not McDonald's. <laughs> of our little gonna, date night. I was going to ask for Chick-fil-A after the game, but I realized it's Sunday. Mm -hmm. It is Sunday. And for some reason... Because it's the Lord's Day. I want chicken. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, we can go to McDonald's. I, no, I don't want chicken from there. Well, so I don't up. like their chicken sauce. Okay. Not their chicken sauce, but the sauce that they put on the chicken. Uh, whatever. I don't, I don't know what you're saying. Anyways, we are currently waiting to go in for date night. We didn't uh, get to do anything for Valentine's Day. Um, because of, you know, circumstances. And years. fish. Yeah. But... Anyways. And I didn't want to drive. Mm-hmm. Anyways. So we are going to be doing it today. Do you want to tell the people what we're doing? Or, I already or, told them. Not, if we're not at McDonald's. Do you want to tell them or should we make them wait? I don't know. We're at McDonald's parking lot. We are not at McDonald's parking lot. We are. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways. We are sitting in the parking lot of the Coliseum in Fort Wayne. What? <laughs> the parking lot of the Coliseum. We are going to the Fort, Fort Wayne. Com what? Oh, no! no! That's in Rome. Same thing. Not Greece. I get them confused because they're too similar. These people they're think not. I'm stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm not. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we are at the Fort <laughs> Wayne Coliseum and we are going to the Fort Wayne Comets hockey game. Do the Comets at the Coliseum. The Comets at the Coliseum. Mm -hmm. Do you know what hockey is? I know what hockey is. They okay. have the two sticks and the puck, and they go... The two sticks? It's well, more like no. 10 or 12. Because well, I was there's... talking like uh, um, like when they first start the game. and they That's the face-off. Anyways. Tip-off, same thing. It's not the tip-off! That's basketball. See, I'm not stupid. I know basketball. I look good today. Anywho's, we're going to go inside, find our seat. It is nosebleed seats, unfortunately, because of, like, pod seating. I think that's what it was called. I'll, ex mask on. I'll explain it later, but we're going to head in, find our seats. She's probably going to want nachos because she likes spending my money. And I can spend my own money because mm -hmm. I'll be a lucky woman. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we're going to get inside and we'll catch you guys during the game. Those are expensive. Come on. Wait, hold Come on. on. <laughs> I don't like these things. You're scared? Yes, I am. You're scared of escalators? Yes. Escalators, escalators, escalators. You get stuck in them and you're dead. No, there's a sh safety shut off. I don't care. Escalators, escalators, escalators. Yeah. Eels. Oh, we have to go up more. <laughs> yeah, we do have to go up more. Wait, that's oh. says even sections. Are we even? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're still going up. Buzzer just went off. 20 minutes till game time. Let's go, comments. Woo! There's totally going to be a fight tonight. 100%. So, down on the floor. <laughs> Things are happening. So, there was number 13 for the other team was standing right there. And he refused to get off the ice. And so one of the Comets players came out. And they were already chirping at each other across the ice. And there's, what, 13 minutes until game time? This whole place here already hates number 13. Already. There's going to be a fight. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Woo! It doesn't look near as cool as camera.
This close. This close. <laughs> Stink. <laughs> Line change. So it's end of end of the first period. What are you doing? It's not okay. Yeah, it is. Never mind. <laughs> end of the first period. Uh, game tied two two. It's pretty intense. No fights yet. You having fun? I am having fun. Yeah. This is actually a lot of fun. Well, I need to come here a lot more often. Uh, next weekend. Next weekend? Yeah. Except they're not playing here next weekend. Oh. Okay. Well, the fifth and sixth. Okay, we'll they see. Are. We'll see. They're, they have games on my birthday. I know. We'll see. Do you want to... So the Comets are coming back on the floor. The ice. Whatever you want to call it. It's not basketball, so it's not the floor. It's the ice. Uh, two minutes left in the break. It's going to be a long day. <laughs> uh, you're tired? A little bit. A little bit. Hopefully we see a fight. I want to fight so bad. Yeah. yeah. We've had little, like, almost fights. Well, I mean, just, like, push and shoves, but no, there has been no, like, dropping the gloves. Well, when they were in the goal. Like, I like, know, but they haven't dropped the gloves yet. Okay. I mean, do they really drop the gloves? Like? Oh, they, no, they throw the gloves off, and okay. then they, then they start, like, grabbing each other, like, yeah. right here, and they just okay. starts throwing haymakers. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay, we can leave now. No. I saw my fight. <laughs> no, what if there's another one? I don't know. There's gonna be another one. I'm excited. Done. Comets won six to two. They kicked butt. Uh huh. It, they really did kick butt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, yeah. There was a fight. Oh. So glad I got us on my fight. But I had fun. Did you have fun? I had was, a lot of fun. Was that a good enough date night for you? 
I'm not high maintenance. Answer my question. Yes, that was a very good date night. <laughs> okay, I'm glad. Well, so I was telling, I was telling Daphne, like, well, during the game, I don't know if you remember this, when we were talking about, like, goalies or whatever, getting hurt or something. Yeah, the more like, goalies. Yeah, so that's going to be my fact of the day. So, there's this odd thing in hockey called an emergency goalie. So it's a it's a goalie that is essentially picked by the team to serve well obviously as a goalie in an emergency. So on any NHL team there's usually two goalies. And so but if both of them, what are you doing? I'm holding the phone. Mm -hmm. But if both <laughs> You are struggling. I, uh... So, if it happens that both goalies get hurt, well, what are you going to do? You can't just throw, you know, one of your normal players. I mean, technically, your... you could. No, you can't. No. Um, so, the NHL teams, they have what they call emergency goalies. So, they're just essentially civilians that they pick to serve as their goalie in a time of emergency. So, the Carolina Hurricanes actually had this happen where both of their goalies got hurt in the same game. Huh. And then, so, they had their emergency goalie. Their emergency goalie, I think his name was David Ains. I think. He's the Zamboni driver for the Carolina no. Hurricanes. Yep. What? And so, he played hockey in high school in junior college. Mm. So, like a Juco yeah. league. And, but then, you know, he, you know, graduated, had a either kidney transplant or liver transplant, something like that. And so he was, like, thinking that his hockey playing days were over. Yeah. Well, during one of their games against the Toronto Maple Leafs, I believe, David Ains came in and won the game. Like, really? Like, he saved, you know, enough goals or whatever for the Carolina Hurricanes to win the game. So... It, it happens, not often, but so they're not they're not signed to a normal deal or whatever. So like I don't know how much money he actually made out of that game, but he's the, he's usually the Zamboni driver for the Carolina nice. Hurricanes. But instead, he played goalie for the Hurricanes. Nice. So, in case you guys don't know much about hockey, I mean I don't know much about hockey. Uh, I like I like to watch it, but I like. I don't understand all of the penalties fully. Like, some of them I get, but others, like, I don't understand what constitutes certain things. Um, but I hope to learn more. I hope to go to a lot That was more. really fun. I, yeah, I hope to go to more Comets games. It... I know that they are, like, the cheapest, mm -hmm. but I feel like if, like, we're here in a weekend and we're like, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. We can just, if there's a game here, we yeah. can just and even the seats that pick we up got, quick tickets. They, they weren't, weren't terrible. Bad. No, no, they, I mean, they really weren't. No. It just the the pod seating kind of just frustrates me. How you you would it. think that they do like two four six, you know? They actually do two three four. Two three, that makes no sense. I, that makes no sense. I don't know, Cause, but yeah, the the pod seating just it kind of frustrates me because there were there were open seats like there were plenty of open seats that you could still social well, distance. I, I don't know. I don't but know. The, the seats that we were looking at going because well we invited. Well, my roommate and his girlfriend, which happens to be your roommate and his boyfriend. Not happens. Her, her boyfriend. Yeah. It's not happens. I picked that room. But. but it happens to be. Yeah. And so we offered it up, and, but they had family come out, and they live like four hours away. Yeah. So they had family come out, and so they said, you know, maybe next time. And I'm like, I, fu I fully get it. So, but we were planning on going with them, so I was looking at seats for four people. Yeah. And then they said they couldn't do it. And so I was like, yeah, you know, big deal. I'll just order two of those tickets. Well, the comments were like, no, you can't order just two of the four. You have to order all four tickets um, if you want those seats. And I was like, well, that's that sucks. Um, and, like, those seats that we were looking at were open. Like, no one bought them. So it was like... I, I, they should have those, like, just free open, like, an hour before the game or something like that. You know? Yeah, I don't know. And maybe they, and maybe those are the people, so, like, when you go to the box office. They, they like, get those tickets? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? COVID 
screws a lot of things up, but it's okay. We made the best of it. I had a lot of fun tonight. You had a lot of fun. Yeah. So. And then we went and got McDonald's. For Din Din. So. Yeah. Well, I got McDonald's new spicy nugs, and they now have, like, slushies. slushies. So this is, like, frozen Coca-Cola, kind of like how Casey's has it. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how many of you know what Casey's general store is. I'm assuming most of you because I think, like, all 32 of you, I know who you are. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so you're probably local, so you probably do know what a Casey's general store is. But yeah. anyways, heading back to my apartment. Um, I got a, I got some homework that I can do. I mean, it's not pressing, but I should get it done. I really should. Mm-hmm. Excuse um, me. Still trying to catch up on things. I mean, I have plenty. You of should wrap this up. My hand hurts. Your hand hurts. You're yes. complaining because you're holding a phone. Your hand hurts. Yes. You're well, wimp. this is my gimp arm. You're a wimp. This is my gimp arm. You're a wimp. This is my gimp arm. So. Daphne wants me to wrap it up, so I guess that's what we'll do. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the clips of the hockey game. Hopefully I don't get in trouble by the... Comets. The Comets, or not even the Comets, but it's more the uh, ECHL. Because I don't know if they hold, like, rights and copyrights or where is that. So. Maybe. I don't know. It was, it was a fun time, though, so... If I get in trouble, I'll just cut out the uh, actual gameplay footage mm-hmm. i'll just go through it. maybe i'll blur it out i don't know okay. i don't think it's gonna be that big okay. of an issue so okay i hope you guys have enjoyed and i and probably her will be seeing all of you tomorrow on another day in the life of a dawn vlog peace <laughs>